This video is about vehicle development process. Basically, we will be talking about all the stages on the steps that are involved in developing a vehicle or as a design engineer, what are the steps that one should follow or one follows while developing a vehicle. So basically these stages are divided into these four. The first one is the pre-design and development. The second is a design engineering, development engineering and the final stage that is the start of production and the vehicle at market. So we will be talking about these four stages individually. So let's start with the pre-design and development. Now pre-design and development is the first step or the first stage of a vehicle development. Like so, let's say you are starting a vehicle from a scratch. So basically you have nothing to start off with. Like there is no input data. There is no study or any analysis report that you have or let's say you don't have any idea as to what will be the vehicle and what you are gonna design or what will be the output. So what you will do in the pre-design development. So this stage is also subdivided into different steps. Now the first thing that the design team or the design engineer will carry out in this pre-design development stage is benchmarking. Now benchmarking is just a technical term for comparing. It is a comparative study of existing vehicles in the market and what other features each of them is offering to the customers. So basically benchmarking is nothing but just a comparison between different components and different parts or even different vehicles what are they offering what are their features what is the price range and lot more things and what is being currently offering like if you were to design a vehicle what would be the best thing you have your budget you have your range now you will decide that what are the offering to the customers what other companies are currently offering the customers what are the features what is the price range of different vehicles for example Ford is offering its SUV or its entry-level SUV at 10 lakh rupees so similarly there is Hyundai offering at 12 lakh rupees and what are these features what are these uh, design of these and what is the design intent what are the features that they are offering their mileage engine now all of these things so basically this is a comparative study now benchmarking is of two types the first one is internal benchmarking and the second is external benchmarking now internal benchmarking is when you compare your products or the products that your company is offering like if you're working for a Hyundai and you have to develop a new model for the Hyundai so what you will do is you will look at the existing vehicles of this company okay like the brands or the products or the vehicle that were given by the hyundai until this date for example creta hyundai venue you will take these as your reference what were the features they provided what are their specifications what is the brand stand for like there is a signature of every brand so you have to carry that in your next model so this comparative study or comparison within your company or within the products or is internal benchmarking and external benchmarking is when you compare or study the products or the vehicle per se offering by the other companies. So you, this is just an external benchmarking. So this after the benchmarking, you will have an idea like what is being offered to the customer what are the features being provided what is the variety available to the customer to choose from and what is the status of the market so now you know that which category you are you have to focus on let's say now you have decided ki, like yes this is the suv or the sedan that you want to create so this benchmarking study will give you the idea or let's say a starting point for the project now benchmarking is done in multiple stages 
so the first stage is a general study like i just said where you don't have any idea you ju- you have just started your project so the first stage is the first stage one of benchmarking where you just randomly study the different companies their vehicles what are the features and all that so that you could start building a concept the next stage is done after the concept is built and that is a detailed study related to a specific part for example you have done your benchmarking one and now you have sure like this is the product or this is the type of vehicle that you want to create then using that study or the benchmarking one you will create a concept a concept is nothing just a rough idea or a rough sketch you can say about a vehicle so that you now have an outline of the vehicle now the next stage is after you have built the concept there is this benchmarking 2 where you compare your individual parts of the vehicle like what are the parts that are with that will be used in that particular vehicle what are the features that are used in that particular vehicle so you will compare those individual features with the existing vehicles of your own company or with the vehicles of other companies so this stage is a detailed benchmarking that is a benchmarking 2 it is also done to set standard for our vehicle which is to be designed by studying what features and quality is being offered to the customer this is just obvious that if you are to developing you are providing a new vehicle in the market so it has to be advanced than the existing vehicles in the market otherwise the customer won't buy your product if you want to create a vehicle if you were to create a vehicle and you are offering a new vehicle to the customer it should be better than the existing one or at least you can say it should have more features than the existing one so that is why it is very very important to conduct this benchmark study to get the idea that these are the features that must be included in your vehicle so as to survive this competition in the market so this was the benchmarking now the second step in this pre design development is concept preparation after conducting the first stage of benchmarking we have enough data to start building the concept like there are different members of in the design team they all will come up with different ideas about how to progress or what type of vehicle like whether it be it will be a three seater a two seater or a four seater vehicle a two door vehicle a four door vehicle whether it be a sedan or an suv so these there will be multiple concept popping up by the individual input of the design team so a concept is just a, as i said is an abstract idea or a general notion about the vehicle to be designed whether it is going to be a two seater or a four seater an suv or a sedan so this as you can see is how a concept is built using a pen and paper just loosely sketching out the basic outline of the body of how the car is going to look like now you can be let your imagination rule you can just draw whatever you want you can create whatever type of vehicle you want because this is just a concept you don't have to worry about the manufacturability the feasibility that will be handled later on in the project so like for example if your vehicle is to be a front wheel drive a rear wheel drive what will be the cargo space available and all these things will be setting up during the concept preparation after the benchmarking is done 